After reading the story about Adam's brother making his first communion, it was a way to promote conversation. Do you remember when you had an older brother or sister that actually made their first communion and how exciting it was? Well, even though the children in the faith formation class is about four or five, they go to church, they see everyone going up to the altar, they see everyone going up to the priest or the Eucharistic minister. So we wanted to kind of imitate that in our own kind of way here, of course, being very respectful of the host. So what we decided to do is I actually brought in some flatbread and tore it apart and I wanted to give it reverence. So I found kind of a special tray, it is non-breakable. And so we talked about that the priest says certain words over the bread, the words of consecration, and it can only be done by ordained priest and with the Holy Spirit. So we talked about the words of consecration and if you can find out when the priest says those special words, which is, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. And then what happens after that? So we took turns, the children came up. Since I am a Eucharistic minister at my parish, again, this is not the consecrated host, this is just bread. So said the words so the children could receive it, showed them how to take their hands and how we can receive it. We have put our hands, like it's the altar. It's the altar that we receive the bread. So we talked a little bit about that. And but what they can do at this age, they can go up to the altar to the priest or the Eucharistic minister and receive a blessing. At our church, uh, our priest wants us to say these words, receive the Lord Jesus in your heart. So we showed them how to put their arms like this and how to receive the blessing and how full that makes their heart and how excited it is and how excited they will be when they make their first communion. So that is my extra tip for lesson 18, Jesus gives us special food. God bless you.